hi friends welcome to a new video and in this video we will uh, change the full capacity of the the full charge capacity of this battery and uh, the previous IC is used here the BQ8030A and I am using the FX12P board here you can see the full charge capacity is just only 48 milliampere which is very very lower for this battery it should be 5200 milliampere or the 5.2 AH here so let's see uh, how to change the value and clearly I am in the uh, normal state not in the boot mode and I already extracted the um, hex files means the EEPROM files uh, from the chip we need to uh, convert the decimal value to the uh, hex value so we can easily find it in the uh, the the eprom file so here the 48 so we need to convert to the the 48 decimal value to the hex value it is just only 30 which means it is 0030 and just edit the eprom file and search for the 0030 and you can see it is just only one value there i think it should be the uh, <laughs> the full charge capacity i don't know just try so the decimal value 5200 is means the 5.2 h is 1450 so we need to change the 0030 to 1450 the hex value here i just uh, checking if the value is correct or not to make sure the battery should work again so it is same the 1450 is the hex value of the 5200 decimal value so just quickly uh, you can paste or just uh, type the correct value here it is 1450 and I am going to uh, upload the uh, changed EEPROM to the battery again so there is also another value 0030 is showing but you can see uh, while we are entering the 0030 it is the only value highlighted like a box so it should be the the full charge capacity okay now we are going to enter the chip to the boot mode and for that we need to give the commands if you don't know how to do it please watch my previous video in the description box you can find the link so just give the command to the 71 register the 0214 and read the 73 and just subtract it from the 10,000 then we will get this value and after this the 70 register uh, we need to give the 0517 to the 70 register and uh, we are going to write the eprom file using the command w so just drag and drop the file there and press enter so it is erasing the flash and writing the flashing the eprom file it is done now exiting from the boot mode and i am going to read the sps report so just you can see you can see the full charge capacity is changed to 5200 milliampere previously uh, it was 48 milliampere which is very low for this battery now we changed the correct capacity of the cell but make sure you are using the new cells not the old cell because uh, for using the old cell uh, it will be very dangerous the lithium ion battery is explosive and we, you need to make sure uh, I am saying again because it is very dangerous to charge the battery again if the battery is uh, not in the good condition uh, change the cells and flash the EEPROM again then you can use the battery as fresh as new so this is how we did it if you have any doubts just comment you can check my instagram page and the facebook page so if you need any more help you can ask me and that's it thanks for watching this video